Navigating the language. Guide others with English. Hello, learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we're diving deep into the practical aspect of English language learning. We're focusing on giving directions to someone who is lost. This is a critical skill to master, not only for navigating new places, but also for building your confidence in daily English conversation. Let's get started. Before we dive into role play and practice, let's familiarize ourselves with some of the key phrases and vocabulary we will be using. 1. Go straight. This means to continue moving in the same direction. 2. Turn left, right. This indicates that the person should change their direction towards the left or the right. 3. At the intersection, crossroads. These are places where two or more roads meet. 4. On your left, right. This is used to describe the location of something in relation to the person you're speaking to. 5. Past the, this phrase is used to indicate a landmark or location that a person should go beyond. Now that we're familiar with our key phrases and vocabulary, let's use them to construct sentences and give directions. Go straight for two blocks, then turn left at the traffic lights. Walk past the post office, then take a right turn at the bakery. You will see a large supermarket on your left, turn right there. The key to giving effective directions is to be as clear and concise as possible. Use landmarks and other noticeable features in the environment to guide the person to their destination. It's time for practice. We're going to role play a few scenarios to get a feel of how to give directions in real life situations. Grab a partner and let's begin. Scenario 1. Your partner is lost at a mall and needs to find the electronic store. Scenario 2. Your partner is trying to find the local library from a subway station. Scenario 3. Your partner is lost downtown and needs to find their way back to their hotel. In each scenario, use the phrases and vocabulary we've learned to give clear directions. Remember, practice makes perfect. And that wraps up our lesson on giving directions to someone who is lost. I hope this video has given you the confidence and vocabulary to help out when someone needs directions. Remember, the best way to improve is to practice, practice, practice. So don't be shy, give these directions a go in your everyday life. Keep learning, keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next lesson.